this is another section uh, we've actually just switched computers quickly so that I can show you. Um, but something else we've integrated within Teeth is Nmap and specifically Nmap with the NSE scripts. So there's about 400 of them that come pre-built with Kali. And of course you can develop or download your own that use it. Um, so the nice thing is that within Multigo naturally you can do uh, a pretty good footprint. And you can now say I can take any of the DNS names that I've got or any IP addresses and I can then run um, Nmap with NSC on it. So by default, uh, we're actually using the default family. Um, so this is just going to do a whole bunch of information mining. Uh, so if I run it on these IP addresses and I say Nmap plus, this will then now execute Nmap with the NSC and return the various services uh, that are there. So you'll see that here they come out. Um, and of course, once I click on these services, I'll be able to visualize, uh, well, I'll be able to visually see any output from the NSE script. So if I take something like any of these ones, I can go to uh, my detail view and I can actually scroll down here and I can see the NSE output as well. So this, uh, this one says that there's two disallowed entries in robots, uh, potentially risky methods and so on. Of course, if you did set that to something like intrusive, you'd get all the output from the scripts that were run that were intrusive against it. So those would be sort of trying auth and things like that. Um, additionally, I can then take these services and I can uh, drop these to uh, banners and to ports. So if I drop these, say, to ports, um, I'll now be able to, to see the ports coming out of there and be able to link up between various things. So what I can do as soon as this is finished is I'll be able to visualize which ports are most commonly used uh, in the target space that I'm looking at. So I'm just going to wait for this to come back. Okay, and there you can see the ports have come back. So now if I switch to something like uh, bubble view, you can see that I can now visualize the ports very nicely. Um, and you can see that these are the most common ports. So there you'll see that this one is 443, this one is 8080, and this is 80. So within this small subset of, uh, of footprint, I can now you know, see those are the predominantly used ports.